Hi there, Rabbi. Nice ride. <laughs> Where are you going? Not mine, and I'm not buying one, and I'm not going anywhere, Joe. But you're going to go somewhere. Otherwise, you wouldn't have picked that background. What's on your mind? Read, read in the paper this morning that Loudoun County wants to give every student Narcan so that when one of their friends ODs on an opioid, they can save their lives. And as I'm reading this, I'm reminded once again that as Americans, we so focus on an emergency crisis that we don't delve down and say, wait a minute, why is this happening? Why are our kids ODing? Why are they using so much of a narcotic? And maybe we'd be better served by dealing with why and stopping the use or slowing it down. And what came to mind was a passage in the Talmud. Jewish law is discussing thieves. Okay. Remember, a lot of the Talmud deals with torts and thievery in American law. Well, actually, American law drew on the Talmud, so I'm going backwards. But the section focuses on stealing. And the rabbis conclude the person who buys the stolen merchandise should be punished more than the thief. You go, wait a minute, why? Their reasoning is no one would steal if they couldn't sell the object. If it couldn't be fenced, you're not going to steal it. And so I said, wait a minute, let me look up the most stolen cars in America and the least stolen cars. Well, if you don't want your car stolen, Joe, buy a Kia. And if, if that's not good, buy a Chevy Volt. In fact, almost any electric car is the lowest on the list of stolen cars. What's highest on the list? Corvettes, muscle cars, expensive cars. Why? They can be sold or fenced. I'm thinking, wait a minute, what's the logic here? The logic here is to get at the source. And if the source is getting rid of a stolen object, then let's not worry about the person that stole it. So now let's take a look at our students. Instead of giving them Narcan, why don't we put more money into programming, into counselors, into therapy, into research, and start getting at why our students are using so many drugs that we need to provide them with something to keep them from dying. It's the same reasoning. It's getting down a level. It's going down one. And I think the analogy works perfectly, Joe, but I think that's part of our, an American mentality is to be crisis-oriented, to fix something on the surface but not put the money or resources to stop it from happening, which, by the way, turns out to be less expensive. Well, isn't making Narcan available to students, because they're the ones that are going to be nearest to the users, a preventative measure? I mean, isn't it similar to having fire hydrants on, on city streets so that you can put out a fire in case... The house exactly. gets that's a great analogy, but the fire hydrant doesn't stop a fire from happening. And we think that by giving our students Narcan, that's going to solve the problem. Fire hydrants don't solve the problem of fires, smoke detectors don't solve the problem, they get us out in time. But then we have to look at the building is the building safe? Does it have fire retardants? What are the materials? Where are the exits? There's more than just having a fire hydrant, Joe. The problem being Loudoun County isn't putting money into anything except equipping our students with fire hydrants. And yet, if you want to see a kid's roll up, eyes roll up fast as anything you've ever seen, start talking to them about the evils and dangers of drugs. I'm not talking because... about evils or dangers of drugs, Joe. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about why, would, why our students are turning to it is it stress? Is it the media? Is it politicians? For whatever it might be, let's start helping our students cope with the environment they're in so they don't choose a very bad option. That's the goal. The worst thing in the world is anything that promotes how bad something is. That never has worked, so we don't want to put money into that. Rather, let's take a look at 
what's going on and let's help our students cope and deal with those things that are pushing them towards drug abuse. Maybe we could give them all Corvettes. <laughs> well, I'm not sure it's that simple an answer, Rabbi, but I understand your reasoning and I appreciate it, as I do you. Thank you, as always, for your wisdom. And I will go over to Loudoun County and I will let them know what you're thinking. And by the way, Joe, it is rather, rather easy. We have X number of dollars. We can certainly fund Narcan. Don't take it away. And then let's do the B part. Let's help our students cope with those things that are pushing them to make the wrong choice.